welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a, a short makeup look. Um, well, let's get started. Um, today I used Colourpop Stole the Show as my highlight. I used the Forever Nude Sculpting Glow for my blush and my bronzer. I don't do contouring very much because I feel like my face just doesn't suit it. I also used, what else did I use? Um, the Kat Von D Lock It Lightweight Primer. Featherweight. Sorry. And the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation. And I think that was about it. Now I'm going to start by priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. Very loved, as you can tell. And I'm just going to put it all over my eyelids. I just use my finger to rub it in. I think I forgot to tell you what I used on my brows. On second, I used, which I really have been loving, is the Milani uh, Stay Put Brow Color in Dark Brown. Love this stuff. It is fantastic. And uh, it does stay put all day. I've had it on from way early in the morning till bedtime. And I have no problem with it at all. I am just making sure that's nice and smooth so that our shadows stay nice and bright, stay put all day, and they won't crease on us. Then I'm going to use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I decided to do a matte look today. Let's see. I'm kind of winging it just talking to you as I get ready today and then I have the BH Cosmetics Wild Girl Palette and palette brushes to use today I really enjoy these I'm gonna start off by setting my primer with this shade right here starting from the brow bone all the way down. I'm going to leave the lid alone because I want that a little tacky. Pardon if you hear noises. The kids haven't gone back to school yet. So it's still pretty noisy here in this house. Then I'm going to use this brush for my crease. And I will use this shade right here. La Lat Latinus, and the other first shade I used was Ludwin. Oh, it's nice that they have the names on the back. That's pretty cool. I didn't notice that before. And I'm going to go just keep my brush angled up like this. I really don't care if I go past, past this area because I'm always going to clean it up later anyways. And I like to kind of V it out a little bit with this first shade. There we go. And I'm going to do the other side the same way. Keeping the angle, windshield wiper motions, making a slight cat eye at the end. And I'm going to do it one more time just to intensify that transition color. And just going back and forth, back and forth. You're always layering in these eye looks. Okay. Now I'm going to get myself a smaller brush because I want to start working with a darker color. I'm going to use this one right here and I'm going to get this 
color right here. Citri. If I botched these names, I'm so sorry. And then I'm just going to go and take that just below that transition color. Get it nice and blended in there. I'm just placing that color right now. I'm going to go back with the other brush and really blend, blend, blend as soon as I'm done with this. And if you get any on the lid, you know it is what it is. You're going to be putting a color on there. So I'm going to take my transition color, Lotinus again, and I'm just going to buff that on top, trying to keep everything nice and blended. And then if you feel like you're losing your highlight up top, just get your highlight brush and fix it. Careful not to ruin your eyebrows. I know how long that can take to do. <laughs> eyebrows are just high maintenance nowadays. <laughs> then I'm going to take succubus and put that all over. All over the lid. Oh, it's nice and pigmented. Try not to go up into the crease with that color. Just cover up the lid space that's there. And of course, when you're done, you're gonna blend, blend, blend. Blend, blend, blend. Keeping everything nice and blended helps a lot with these smoky eyes. I'm just going to keep on blending. Okay. And then you just want to take a look at yourself and make sure everything matches. So far so good for me. So now I'm going to be right back. I'm going to do some winged liner and then I'll show you my mascara. I'm back with my winged liner and there's the eye look so far. Now I'm going to take my Too Faced Feather Than Sex Mascara and apply that right now. This stuff is awesome. It just lengthens and makes your lashes so full. It is beautiful. I do one coat on one side, then I switch to the other side. And then I'll go back to this side, give it another coat. Notice how I'm not dipping my brush too much because this stuff can get clumpy if you dip your brush too much. I just make sure that they're evenly coated. And very easy but beautiful so now I'm going to take a little color for the lash line I'm just going to use our lightest brown Latinus and I got a perfect brush for this I'm just going to take this chubby little guy and put him right under my lash line starting from the edge of your eye and going in, and then I like to do the other side. Uh, I'm not a fan of putting too much on the lower lash line, uh, unless I'm doing like a really evening kind of a look. So there you go. 
that's so simple. Now I'm going to put a tiny bit of mascara on my bottom lashes. I also don't do much on my lashes. Just a teeny bit because they get really long. There we go. Then I'm going to do my lips and I think that is the end of this look, my friends. Okay, I'm going to use Cookie, the matte color by ColourPop. Love this shade. Looks so pretty underneath. Like pinks and things. Then I'm going to use this Stay Glossy in, what color is this? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, but it's uh, 6005, or no, sorry, 5009F. I love a little gloss over this. This peach one is just gorgeous. you enjoyed this little chit chat get ready with me this is my very first look and I plan to do many many more uh, leave in the comments anything you would like oh I almost forgot gotta set my makeup with my favorite L'Oreal at L'Oreal infallible setting spray I give it a good misting because it keeps my makeup put all day long here's the look I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe and keep watching for more fantastic makeup looks. Bye!